if you can excuse the the messiness, uh, I got something there. I think you might quite like. I'm just going to use this um, interlude that we've listened to before. Just because we're we're allowed to use it, we don't get into any trouble with this. It's only one channel. It's just the right hand channel. Basically, just to prove the concept that the circuit will work, and one of the things I like about this circuit is look. There's no special trips, no ICs, just bog standard uh, BC547s and a single 557. Oh, oh, sorry, VLC Media Player does that from time to time, freaks me out when I'm doing experiments. <laughs> See the circuit. And if you're wanting to connect, rather than it coming off the uh, the eight ohm speaker, where it's connected to over there, look, that just feeds up to my uh, up to my speaker. You can adjust the sensitivity here, or you can have it so you use this this bootstrap circuit and connect a eight ohm little speaker as a microphone. Then you can talk into it and have it as a uh, audio level if you were to calculate up the dB side things anyway. A little bit deceptive. I'm going to turn it off now. A little bit deceptive because we've got two speakers operating, so you've got two lots of sound, but only one lot of uh, LEDs on this right-hand side speaker. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd just give this a build. It uh, came from you know one of my favourite websites that I like to read, and that's Talking Electronics. Let me put some light on the subject. Watch your eyes. Uh, Talking Electronics. And I was a bit worried actually. Well, not no, no I'm not that worried. But the last thing I built from there didn't work, and, uh, and that was the the amplifier. But there's a massive difference between the circuits that have a lot of um, literature to them, and like that particular amplifier. That was the first thing out of all the little things I've built off that. And there are many but not made videos on them because I just do them and then think, ah, no one cares, no one wants to see this. Um, well, this is actually practical for people. This is quite a good practical little circuit. It runs off 9 volts. I'm running just, just over 9 volts there. That's just because I couldn't be bothered to, um, couldn't bother to tune it in. And uh, if I just click on the, the volt, you can get to see how much amps it draws out of that voltage. <laughs> Just the um, just the sensitivity. So you can turn it pretty much all the way down to nothing. So you can have it a lot higher volume. But I've got that on pretty much maximum. I 
I love the way the um, the bassy ones come up on these red ones. And the, the higher frequencies down here. And, well, but it, but it does, yeah. That's the way. That's what it looks like when I'm listening. So, um, yes. Yeah, so what was I going to say? Um, yeah. So it's all look. Look. These are all um, easy to get hold of parts. Just a bunch of uh, IN forty one forty eight, which is what these diodes are here, and the one here, BC five five seven. There for PMP. BC five four seven. Bunch of MPNs. Three thirty. Um, resistors between the LEDs and the um, and the collectors of the transistors and the emitters uh, going straight down to ground onto this uh, onto the blue right there piece of cake and then just this for the adjusting the voltage uh, the, oh yeah basically it's just uh, the adjustment and sensitivity great little circuit very little circuit, and this is the bootstrap. So you connect this um, onto this. You literally have these three terminals here connected to these three terminals here, um, and then you can put a little eight-ohm speaker on there, and you could position it. Let's pretend by a speaker, and then it would give. Um, you know, it would it would pick up that from there. But the way I've done it is I've I've just eliminated this just for now. And I'm just connecting here like this. Um, it's not quite as it looks here because of the way I've set this up with the circuit, but it is basically this, and I'm just ignoring that there. And uh, and yeah, I'm just going straight off my 8 ohm speaker. Now I did try doing it straight from the um, the input, uh, I should say the output from my laptop from here, and it didn't work really at all. So I've just gone off straight from the uh, the, the connection the speaker being very careful I don't let these touch otherwise bang well at least bang it'll be bang here so yeah yeah it's pretty good I'm more than impressed there's no special ICs needed this is all you know um, you get a hundred of these transistors for 99p from China so uh, it's, it's a very simple simple little circuit Brilliant! I'm absolutely chuffed. It's made my uh, last couple of hours just sitting, getting it done while I've been watching some, oh, listening to some comedy uh, from my computer. Uh, I think I should do a video about. Look, I switched over to Linux Mint, and I think it's way better than Ubuntu. Um, way better than Ubuntu for lots of different reasons. Maybe I should do a video about that. If anybody wants to know why I think that Linux version. Is way better in Ubuntu and Ubuntu uh, Linux Lite. I'll do a video on that because I think it's worth it. It's great looking, great looking, great feeling, great working uh, operating system for anybody that wants to shift away from Windows or whatever else you're using. But that's I'm digressing, going away from this. Uh, fantastic little circuit. Yeah, so that's it. I'm just going to play out now a few more seconds of music and just leave that as that and maybe come back when I've built a couple of them in, onto proper PCBs and. Uh, we have them going.